So today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool um, paper-backed iPhone case. Um, and if you need to get a clear case, um, I would link down below to where you can get them. Um, they'll be available in my Etsy shop. So for this project, you're going to need an X-Acto knife, um, a pencil, a pair of scissors, an iPhone case, and a piece of paper. So take your iPhone and um, you can do this one of two ways. You can either look at the front of the paper and kind of like score the edges um, so you like have an idea of what part you want or um, you can flip the paper over and just kind of like go at it. Um, so you can kind of do it in the middle if you know that's where you wanted the picture or um, you can fit about two cases on here. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I don't really want to waste this paper so I'm just going to fit my phone right there. I'm going to do this without a case on your phone um, and take your pencil and just outline your phone. Um, please don't mind my nails, they're kind of disgusting. But yeah, so just outline your phone on the paper. <sighs> All right. Um, next what you want to do is you just want to make sure that it's all nice and pretty. I did mess up a little bit in the bottom right corner, um, but you can see that, you know, it's there. So take your scissors and you want to cut, um, this piece of paper out of the bigger sheet. Um, and you can buy any, it's just like any type of, um, scrapbooking paper. I actually bought this at Michael's. Um, it was on sale. It was like a pack of like 50 pages for like $2, um, and really any craft store, um, you could print out a piece of paper online, but, um, I mean, these are just little tiny, like, six by six squares, um, which work perfect for this. And since my, um, I was already at the craft store, I don't know, I, I saw this on Etsy, or, no, on Pinterest. I think I saw this on Pinterest, yeah. All right, so there you go. So now you have your, um case paper case and fit it into your hard case um, and you can see mine fits but you'll also notice that um, the spot where the camera goes is not there so just uh, like put your finger under it and kind of trace it with a pencil um, and this is where you're gonna need your you're gonna need to put this paper down on a surface that um, isn't gonna like ruin what you're cutting. I have granite countertops, so I just put down a cutting board and I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and cut out um, that little oval area. So here I go doing this. Um, and just make sure you apply like nice steady pressure. Um, you don't want to not apply enough because then you're just basically gonna score the edges, but you do want to cut through um, so that you have a nice neat edge. Mine came out a little haggard. Um, as you can see, it just kinda, it happens. So just kinda take your knife and just kinda like play around with it. Um, you can just saw it out like that, or um, I mean that's really all you can do. I don't recommend like taking a pair of scissors to this, um, only because it's such a tiny little area that if you do that folding trick, it it's really not gonna work. So now that you cut it out, um, just fit it into your case, and then you can, um, you know, just kind of cut it out a little more, make sure it's fitting nicely, and then just take your phone um, and put it into your case. Um, so now you have a pretty paper backing. Um, I only recommend doing this on a solid back, um, like a flat back. And then this um, glitter thing here, I got it off of Etsy from Kello Cult. Um, and I will link that down below. So if you want one of those, it also has a little apple. Um, yeah, so this is my phone case. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching guys. Bye.